everybody, I'm here with spoken word artist, rapper, music producer, Ruby Ibarra. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Wonderful. It's been crazy since the last time I've seen this girl. We actually went to UC Davis together, so we just got to give a plug to our alma mater. Since graduating, you've been on the cover of Submerged Magazine, featured on World Star Hip Hop. Um, you put out a mixtape of your own, Lost in Translation. So describe all these achievements. Um, yeah, I recently released my first mixtape called Lost in Translation. It was hosted by DJ K Slay of Shade 45, so shout out to him. Um, and then, yeah, since then I've just been promoting my mixtape, trying to get as many shows as possible to get a larger audience, and hopefully people like the songs in the mixtape. And I'm, I'm currently writing songs for a, another mixtape that I'm planning to release um, sometime at the end of this year. <laughs> They put you on the same mixtape as uh, Mr. Kendrick Lamar, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All this controversy. Yeah, it's crazy how um, that verse that he did just totally sparked um, so many MCs to release a, a response to it. But it's great. It's, it's definitely brought back the competitiveness in hip hop and um, made a lot of MCs, including myself, feel like we need to step our bars up. Yeah. Speaking of bars, uh, your Bars of Wisdom uh, video hates one of my absolute favorite spoken word videos Thank I you. mean you just go off for like three more than three minutes about what hate has meant to your five-year-old niece um, and bars of wisdom can you just describe like what you try to convey through messages like that so that piece in particular was just about um, hate and um, the different social ills that, that, that we see a lot in media and in our personal experiences. Um, that particular video too, um, I was very happy that we got a chance to film it while I was out in the Philippines doing a couple shows. So we did that in Quezon City. It's about glass ceilings, internment camps, nooses and not allowed signs. It's raised narrow-minded babies who maybe they'll never see past their own kind. It controls the schools and media through propaganda. Teaching us the enemy when we don't question or raise our hand up. Still she asks me, what is hate? On top of doing all these spoken word classes in the Philippines, you are building libraries and raising money for that. So describe your passion with libraries, reading, and just um, people in the Philippines. So um, one of the shows I got to do was at uh, Cagayan de Oro, and I was very blessed uh, that the organizer I worked with, um, he does a lot of community work. So that was one of the things I asked um, that if we could do that outside of the show, because going out there, there's a lot of... Um, poverty obviously that, that, that a lot of people face so I, I want to outside of the music I wanted to be able to reach out to the community as well and hopefully um, spread some positive positivity and one of the things that we came up with was to build a library for an elementary school out there that really isn't well off and they actually didn't have a library prior prior to going there so um, right now they're still in the process of building it but I'm very happy and very blessed and very proud to say that um, it, the library will be completed within the next month or so. Wow, high five on that one. It's just so inspiring when I see like young adults like you just pushing it out there, like your music, but on top of everything, community first. And so that's something I'm definitely inspired by through you. Um, can you tell us something that maybe artists or viewers don't know about you? Um, just like a random... Could random, be anything. Could, outside of music? Outside of music. Um... My most favorite food is spam and eggs, and <laughs> I'm double jointed. You're double jointed? Oh! I'm like, I don't know if I am, but I'm just like, I can't What's next for you? I mean, there's been so much going on with you, so I guess what can fans um, look forward to in the next coming year? So um, upcoming, um, definitely I'll, I'm planning to do more shows. Hopefully, I'm, right now I'm setting up a couple tour dates um, across the United States. So continuing to promote the Lost in Translation mixtape and also working on another mixtape right now. And I'm just open to collaborating with other artists as well. Um, hopefully, just slow, continuing to get my name out there and hopefully more people will want, will want to listen. Yeah, and I just have to say, being a female MC. It's probably really hard. <laughs> she's a, really she's hard. A <laughs> I know, not not like this girl. This girl goes hard. <laughs> Can you 
talk a little bit about that? Like just wherever you go, you're like one of the few females on a lineup. And I mean, what has been the reaction? And if there has been any reaction, how do you combat any like stereotypes? Um, I, I'm happy to say that the reaction has definitely been positive. Um, a lot of the crowds that I perform for have been very receptive. But I have noticed, like especially um, on social media, a lot of the comments that you see that you know you can't control. Um, a lot of them do tend to be sexist at times, and you can't avoid that. But hopefully, with um, me pushing my music out there and other artists, shout out to Hopi Spitzhard, Rocky Rivera, Reverie, um, all the f uh, local female MCs that's doing their thing. Hopefully. Um, if more women want to get on the microphone and speak their mind, that more people will be more open to listening to um, a woman on the microphone. Because we definitely have a lot to say. Yeah, definitely. Preach on. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? Um, I just want to say thank you to the one or two fans that's out there. Uh, thank you for listening to my music. Um, if you want to keep up uh, to date with all my shows and my upcoming music, um, feel free to go on to rubiabar.com. You can download my mixtape there as well. So follow me on Twitter as well. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank so you. So nice to see you again. This is Ruby Abara, and you're watching Nikki Sun. And if you don't know, now you know.